Experiencing the sensation of flight through the dynamic interaction between the air and the lifting surfaces is an extraordinary experience that everyone should at least experience. Glider planes with no engines offer this liberating flight experience in its purest form. But many people wonder how glider aircraft can soar without the propulsion provided by an engine. However, the explanation for this lies in their highly efficient design, which enables them to descend at a minimal rate. Another reason is by skillfully navigating to areas with rising air currents, known as updrafts or thermals, that gliders can use to gain altitude, harnessing their potential energy. Updrafts occur when wind encounters obstacles like hills or mountains forcing the air to rise, while thermals form over dark landmasses that absorb heat from the sun. Heat from the ground warms the surrounding air, which causes the air to rise. Similar to large birds like owls and hawks, which effortlessly ride thermals, gliders utilize these natural phenomena to ascend without the need for engine power. Although most gliders operate without engines, some motor gliders integrate small engines to extend flight duration when necessary, sustain altitude, and locate thermals. For those interested in entering the gliding world, here are 20 awesome glider models worth exploring. Ruppert Archaeopteryx The Archaeopteryx is a Swiss-designed high-wing microlift glider crafted by Roger Ruppert and manufactured by Ruppert Composite GmbH. This single-seat pod-and-boom glider aims for lightweight design, low stall speeds, gentle stall behavior, maneuverability, and excellent high-speed performance. One of its unique features is the ability to be foot-launched even in windless conditions. The glider can be easily rigged for flight by a single person in just 15 minutes and can be launched using various methods such as foot launch, aero tow, bungee launch, auto tow, and winch launch. Typically, takeoff and landing are executed on the main wheel, but for foot launch, the bottom cover is opened to allow for leg extension. Its controls are conventional, featuring a stick for aileron and elevator control, as well as rudder pedals. To control the glide path, the aircraft utilizes flaps that also serve as air brakes when set to an angle between 45 to 70 degrees. For added safety, the Archaeopteryx is equipped with a ballistic parachute that can be deployed during emergencies. The glider can comfortably accommodate pilots ranging from 165 to 195 centimeters in height and weighing between 55 to 100 kilograms. If you are not fond of foot-launchable gliders, there is an alternative option available, which is a prototype that is equipped with two electric motors, enabling it to self-launch. This glider is available in various types, including open, closed, and race versions. The prices for these gliders range from approximately $58,500 to $82,000, depending on the model chosen. Grobe 103 Originally designated as the G-118, the G-103 sailplane is a high-performance two-seat glider manufactured by Grobe Aircraft in Germany, specifically designed for various purposes such as training, high-performance cross-country racing, and simple aerobatic flying. The glider boasts a T-tail configuration and is equipped with upper-surface air brakes for enhanced control during flight. It features a non-retractable undercarriage that is constructed from fiberglass, ensuring durability and stability. When it comes to taking off, the G-103 sailplane offers multiple options. It can be towed by either a plane or a car, using a 40-meter towing rope, taking off at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour. This method of takeoff provides a reliable and efficient means of getting the sailplane into high in the sky. Alternatively, a winch launch can also be utilized to launch the glider. This involves using a winch to rapidly spool out a cable attached to the sailplane, propelling it into the air. It has an empty weight of 380 kilograms and a gross weight of 580 kilograms, making it compact and agile for various purposes, such as recreational flying or short-distance transportation.
Despite its relatively small size, this glider offers a maximum level of comfort and safety for its passengers. With a purchase price of $19,500, it provides great value for those seeking an affordable yet reliable glider option. Sandlin Goat The Sandlin Goat is an American-designed, single-seat ultralight glider with a parasol wing configuration made by Mike Sandlin and is available as technical drawings for amateur construction. This glider is specifically designed for slow-speed recreational gliding and training and has been in use since the spring of 2003. Originating as a monoplane evolution of the biplane bug, the GOAT shares the bug's aim of providing an affordable and easy-to-fly three-axis controlled aircraft, akin to a basic glider. Weighing in at under 70 kilograms, it complies with the United States FAR 103 Ultralight Vehicles Regulations, which means it does not require registration and pilot licensing. Its structure is primarily constructed from bolted aluminum tubing covered with heat-shrunk Dacron fabric, the wing ribs are constructed with fiberglass, graphite rod, and epoxy resin over styrofoam. With a wingspan of 11 meters, the wing is supported by lift struts, and jury struts or cable bracing options are also available. The conventional control system has three axis control with ailerons and elevator via a central stick and rudder with pedals. Its landing gear features a fixed monowheel design. The open cockpit lacks a windshield, with the pilot secured by a four-point harness. Its design is portable and can be transported on a car roof and assembled by a single person. The GOAT aircraft is intended to be launched using various methods, such as aerotow behind an ultralight aircraft, autotow, winch launch, or by manually rolling it down a slope. For those wanting motorized flight, an engine can be added for self-launch capability. Adventure Aircraft EMG-6 The Adventure Aircraft EMG-6 is an electric airplane designed to be flexible in its operation as either a glider or a powered motor glider, accommodating one or two occupants. As an ultralight motor glider, it is equipped with a pilot, a ballistic parachute, and a small power pack consisting of a motor, controller, and batteries. The aircraft has the capability to self-launch and reach soaring altitudes, depending on the weight of the pilot. In cases of heavier payloads, the motor can be used as a sustainer unit after a ground or aircraft tow, enabling the aircraft to explore distant thermals. With an empty weight of 159 kilograms and a gross weight of 340 kilograms, it features a ballistic parachute used in emergency situations. Schleicher ASK-21 The ASK-21 is a two-seat glider aircraft constructed from glass-reinforced plastic featuring a T-tail configuration. While it is primarily designed for beginner training, it is also well-suited for cross-country flights and aerobatic instruction. It was created by Rudolf Kaiser as a successor to the popular ASK-13 and serves as a modern two-seater that bridges the transition from initial training to performance flying in single-seat gliders. The aircraft features tandem seating with dual controls, adjustable rudder pedals and seat backs. Its fuselage is constructed from a tubular sandwich design, combining passive safety with lightweight construction. The two-piece mid-set wing is a single-spar glass fiber structure, devoid of flaps, but equipped with upper-side Schemp hearth-type air brakes. Its wingtips curve downward to incorporate tip skids, enabling takeoffs without requiring assistance. It is favored among trainees for its forgiving flight characteristics and tolerant low-speed behavior. Its low wing loading of only 24.5 kilograms per square meters enhances its thermal soaring capabilities, allowing it to climb effectively even in weak thermals. Nanolite. A Nanolite is an Australian category of ultralight-powered aircraft, initially defined as a powered hang glider with a combined empty weight of both wing and power system not exceeding 70 kilograms. It can be launched either on foot or using a wheeled undercarriage. 
While nanolights tend to be slower than purpose-built microlights, their lightweight design makes them particularly well-suited for thermal soaring. Its engine serves a dual purpose of initially propelling the aircraft to a safe altitude and aiding in locating thermals. Once a thermal is found, the engine is typically switched off, allowing the pilot to rely solely on thermal lift for altitude gain. Due to their excellent thermal performance but modest cruise speeds, nanolights are predominantly flown by hang glider pilots who favor them for soaring flights rather than traditional ultralight pilots. Schweitzer SGS-2-33 The Schweitzer SGS-2-33 is an American-built two-seat training glider characterized by its high-wing, strut-braced design. It is manufactured by Schweitzer Aircraft of Elmira in New York, and this glider was developed as a successor to the Schweitzer II, 22, building upon its predecessor's legacy. Because of its simplicity, robustness, and forgiving nature, it excels well as a training aircraft. It was engineered with durability, ease of maintenance, and crashworthiness in mind. The fuselage is constructed from welded steel tubing and covered with aircraft fabric. Its wings, featuring a single-spar aluminum structure, taper from mid-span and are equipped with both top and bottom-balanced dive brakes. These wings are enveloped in aluminum-stressed skin. The tailplane and elevator are crafted from welded steel tubes and covered in aircraft fabric. The vertical fin is constructed from aluminum-stressed skin, while the rudder is fabric-covered. A fiberglass nose cone and a single-piece molded front canopy add to its streamlined design. Access to the rear seat is provided through a door on the right-hand side. Instrumentation is located exclusively in the front cockpit, maintaining a focus on pilot training. PZL Bielsko SED-51 Jr. The SED-51-1 Jr. is a single-seat glider specifically designed for first solo flights in Poland widely recognized across the gliding community for its solidity, safety, and pleasant handling characteristics. The Junior is a fiberglass constructed glider with a fabric-covered rudder. The fuselage features an internal tubular steel frame and is equipped with a fixed main wheel and a tail wheel. Its wing consists of two pieces with a spar, and Shemp Hearth type air brakes are installed exclusively on the top surface of the wing. The Junior is fitted with a robust, non-retractable undercarriage featuring an oversized tire, enhancing its ground stability. Its sturdy airframe, combined with a high wing and T-tail configuration, ensures safety during outfield landings, making it a trusted choice for pilot training. 